on the side, I, I write and produce a lot of, um, you know, what people call electronic music. Um, it's not. It's, it's electroacoustic music. Um, because I believe that um, that distinction, to me, is just a dead issue. And that, um, that you can do a lot with very little live recording. So if you have a microphone <laughs> and a preamp, um, you, there's no excuse for you not to have live elements in a track. And even if you're doing a 100% electronic score, you know, if you're doing something like, like uh, Matt Quayle's score to Mr. Robot or something like that where it's supposed to sound electronic, um, you can still work in live elements and have them, you know, process them to sound electronic. And that changes, that, that makes you unique. But on the flip side, if you're doing, um, if you're writing, you know, something that's highly emotional and you want a solo cello, man, like, pick up the phone, find a cellist. There's got to be someone in your network of friends that, that can, you know, play a passable cello part and get your one mic and your preamp and record that thing. Um, and record it well in a quiet room, you know, with the mic somewhere near the cello. And um, <laughs> you're doing better than using a sample, right? Or if you play an instrument, incorporate that into your writing. If you're a guitar player, um, and you have you know, a nice nylon string guitar and you're writing an emotional cue, start with that and build your sound around that. And maybe you only need that, you know? I mean, so play to your strengths Good. and you know, any little live thing. And, I, I'm, and as a drummer, I preach this a lot. Uh, when it comes to percussion especially, don't just live in your sample libraries because they all sound the same. And you, know, you can go a lot further with say like puffy mallets on a floor tom than a bunch of Tycho samples um, that everybody uses. And so if you experiment with you know, close miking that floor tom, detuning it, and then just turning it up and putting a lot of reverb on it in your mix, that's like a way more impressive, say, like, you know, like war drum or something than one of these sample libraries that we all have. <laughs>